What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. We're in the shop today, obviously. And before we get started, I don't know if you guys noticed, but got some new merch. Yep, yep. <laughs> so we're doing a test run with these things. There's the... Not too bad. I like it. So I just wanted to get a, a feel for what the, um, the printing company was going to do, how the sweatshirts came out, but we're going to get these things put up online for you guys. We were talking about doing some new designs yesterday as well. So uh, we'll keep you updated with that, but this is the plan today. So four post lift, 12,000 pounds. They look heavy. Yeah, this thing's definitely not going to be light. So here's all the control boards. Actually, I think, I think this... I think we have an extra. <laughs> this one... Well, That's the replacement, right? They're the same ones. These two are. But this... The last time we ordered our 9,000-pound lift, um, the one that's in the garage at the house, the guy operating the forklift at the port dropped it and smashed this box. So for over a year now, we've... we Chris well, jimmy-rigged one. Work, but it has no <laughs> safety features whatsoever. So he Jimmy rigged one, fixed it, but it was literally Lego pieces inside the box. So this is the replacement for it. But uh, yeah, you know this is this well, is where we're like at. We had on the other one. There's another one up there too. Yeah, I wonder what that's. I'll we'll figure it out. But that's where we're at, guys. And uh, I think Chris said yesterday, you know, we're gonna have to move all this over there. So we definitely have some work cut out for us today. So stay tuned. guys where's the directions jared <laughs> there are none youtube <laughs> no directions at youtube all. so you can see got the four posts up chris just determined with not having directions we were trying to figure out what these were they're actually little trays that slide between I, the two i think i think it's for like your tools you're up there oh, car's working on it you got some more stuff yeah it slides looks like it slides yeah so that's pretty cool. Well, there's no direct. I mean, it might be for something else, but we won't know. Those directions got to be somewhere. They're nowhere. <laughs> the ones, the ones we got last year had directions, and they were left out in the rain, and they were soaking wet. So, but I still have not found any. But you guys can see it. Pretty easy. Four posts, tray. But yeah, it's a quick little update. Well, Stay tuned. Fork lift helps a lot too. Last time we did it all by hand. That is true. With, a, with an engine hoist. That's right. Yeah, we, <laughs> we used a cherry picker. Cherry picker and some Milwaukee, of course, moving dollies. So, but yeah. well, that's where we're at. Just want to give you a quick update. Stay tuned. What'd you do, Jared? What? What did, did I do? <laughs> hey, I was driving the forklift. <laughs> you were guiding me. 
there's no directions. All right, so we put them upside down. So we gotta redo that again. And then these are the releases. This thing, it twists. I don't know if we can see it. But just like that, just like a Bronco tailgate. Uh, and that's for the safety, because these are the safety, and there's little pins that go in, attach, and then when you twist that, it pulls the pin out, which allows you to drop down. So, if you've ever used a lift before, you've gone up, it goes click, 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 it stops, um, and then you have to raise it slightly, release the pins before you can drop back down. So, what are we going to do? We're going to lift it up. Yep. Flip it over. Flip it over. Make sure those are on the outside. Where's that handle at that you had? It's all over there. There's a release handle. I'm assuming that goes on the outside. That would be really inconvenient being that close to that damn wall. Or at least we'll be able to do it. Oh. Yeah, so. <laughs> Dude, well look. So you got that bracket right there. And this one over here looks to be exactly the same too. So. I guess that makes no difference for us, does it? Yep. Still puts us on the wrong side. <laughs> All right, well. Yeah, we'll start messing with it. We'll be back. What do I do every time? He's been taking his camera every time we're thinking about something and comes at, comes at me with this record button. Like, what are we gonna do? Right in the midst of thinking. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, was, I was just hoping to get the steam coming out of his ears on tape. So this lip right here, one, this thing needs to be turned upside down. It's upside down right now. But this lip needs to be on the inside, which it is right now. So if we flipped it over, on the wrong side so now we got to flip it over and all the way around <laughs> and we just pick it up right yeah just pick it up yeah no big deal no. <laughs> <laughs> and that was no exaggeration <laughs> so i don't have any moving carts here you have a forklift you have a forklift would have been nice just to reset and then spin on a moving cart <laughs> well yeah but this is where we are now you can use the trash can bases that's not a bad idea. <laughs> to be honest, that's not a bad idea at all. Just reset this cockeyed and spin it as much as we can. Reset. Heck yeah. So stay tuned. What are we doing? All of it. <laughs> I'm gonna start using that. All right, so you guys saw, we got it flipped around. Um, Flip to the right side, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, rotated, got there it in. Go. So now we're trying to figure out, we're gonna get these. Not figure it out, now we're gonna do it. Okay. We're gonna put these in here and that'll allow each end to be able to clip into these. Yeah, I mean, it's like I said, it's just like every other lift, uh, a jack stand. It goes tick, tick, tick. And that way you can lock it where you need to be. And that way we can raise it up to a certain level because we're going to have to be working underneath it when we attach the other one. Because you have all the cables to run and all the rest of that. So. Well, 
that's where we're at guys it was a quick little update and uh stay tuned All right, guys, it's a wrap for today. Got a lot of progress done, got all the main components put together. I'll come down here real quick. A lot of these stairs broke apart right when I'm walking down them. So obviously we gotta run these cables, get that all hooked up. And uh, yeah, and we got both the runners in, the post. Next time we come back, we'll get it all finished up, but I have an appointment between two and five today. I don't know what time they're gonna show up, so I gotta be there by two. Or well, you need internet at the house so you can upload the videos. <laughs> that's true. If you see this, he got his internet fixed today. <laughs> so that's where we're at, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I think that's pretty much it. We will see you guys in the next video.